Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. So today I am going to talk about some long-term storage food issues. The biggest thing um, is that some of this has been in storage for a long time, a very long time. Uh, and we went through, my mag group and I, uh, we went through and rotated some stock and checked for, for uh, well, checked, checked our, uh, our stock and made sure things were good. Now this looks nice and shiny. There is a little bit, I felt, along the edge and there is a little, a little dust around here that uh, this side is fine, right? The can doesn't have any dents in it on that I can see. And this is, um, this is beef TVP, textured vegetable protein. Uh, but on this side of the can, you can see that there is some surface rust, but then there is also some uh, some rust that is into the can. So the surface rust is handled pretty easily. We would just wipe it down, and then we would put a uh, a light coating of mineral oil on it, like food grade mineral oil, and just wipe the whole can down. But and uh, and here is. Here is another one that has, um, which I don't know that you guys can see that that well, but right in here along that seal is just not where we are happy with it. Some surface rust like this one, this is all, boy, I'm dirty from mess on. This is just surface rust. So this can, of course, this is apple slices. This one is dented and that is why that's why we're doing something with this one. Uh, mostly because dented cans, well, anything that weakens the container makes them susceptible to failure and air getting in there or bacteria growing or or just things that you don't want. I'm not a big dented can. If I had, If I am buying even cans at the grocery store, if I buy a can of green beans and I dent it on my way to the kitchen or as I get it out of the cabinet, I dent it, I'm gonna eat it then. But if I dent it any time, if I don't know when it was dented um, or if I get at the store it was dented from the store, then I'm real leery of it. Now these particular items, these, are, these have been in storage. Wow, I don't even, I don't know. Let me try to find a date. All right, so some of these I haven't looked, let me look at one more. Uh, I have one from 2006, that's this one here. And then 2011, 2010, and then I don't know on the other one, it has no dates or marks on it, of any kind on it. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm wiping them down with a towel to try to turn that back into that. Uh, because this is the, uh, this is just pieces of cardboard on there from the box that they were in. And so I'm going to try to wipe those down and, you know, and, and salvage the containers if I can. Uh, this one here, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to be able to comfortably because of how deep the rust is in this container. The container I do not believe is breached because there's no swelling of the container at all. There's no, uh, it's still nice and, and dry and things on the inside. But what I am gonna do is we are gonna be using some beef TVP. Uh, we're gonna rotate it and use it in our our daily soups and we're gonna we're gonna play with it and learn to use it because I don't want to put that 
back in our, our food storage. Um, and so I have, let's see, six, 12. So we had about 30 cans that were either dented and or uh, had some spots on them that we need to investigate and get and see if that those particular containers can be salvaged. Those that cannot will be opened, they will be bagged, they will be distributed for everyone to get used to using what we have in our long-term storage food. And so it's not a bad thing. Some of these, you know, 2006, I mean, that's, you know, that's coming on, you know, almost 20 years in storage. And so, and, and that's the reason we, we look at our storage, we rotate it. Not every year by any means, but we look at it to inspect the containers and to see what needs rotated out or what we just need to use. In this case, some of this will need to be used and I'm gonna share with you what, what it looks like. So the first one we're gonna do is beef TVP, which like I say is textured vegetable protein. Um, and to use it, it says cover, cover with water, simmer for about 10 minutes, and then each one ounce serving is equivalent to three ounces of cooked meat. Uh, and then you add beef bouillon to help it taste a little better. So let's see what, what it looks like. So there it is opened and I smelled it and it does not smell uh, rancid. It smells different, but uh, let's see. So that's textured vegetable protein with beef flavoring. And so there it is in there. And I want to look at the uh, inside of the can to look for any signs that anything got in it. Everything's nice and dry. And so there it is in the bag. Uh, and in the bag, you can see um, So the beef TVP did not impress my wonderful wife. Um, and it had a different flavor. So this one is sausage. And it tastes like sausage. Now the texture's odd because you know it's, it's freeze dried. And so this one for sure I can't wait to to rehydrate and try because it it just tastes like breakfast sausage. Anyway, the the principle is is it's twofold. Like I said, number one, we're rotating our things. Um, this can is dented. I know apple slices just make you angry. I know you like apple slices. Um, so the principle is that we're not only are we rotating our stock, we're making sure all the containers are intact and any that aren't have already went to the dumpster. Um, there, we, I guess we lost about four or five that were on the bottom of the pile and the, the cans were just dented in. And, and when we, when we looked at it, we're like, nope, none of us would, would think about those. So those were already gone. The ones that were in question, or even if they look fine, like this one looks fine, but I am an anti-can, dented can guy. And so, so it's worth, and plus this one looks like it needs rotated anyway. So if you do buy this long-term storage food, understand that it's expensive. Um, this is probably one of the cheaper cans and it is probably 20 bucks for one can. And the, the TVP, this sausage TVP is probably 60. So uh, store it well. I encourage you to take it out of the cardboard boxes and put it on a shelf. So this is the apples of which we are both already eating and snacking on. Now the fruit comes with and, and a lot of things will come with an oxygen absorber in there. 
we obviously we will not reuse this one. And these items are for experiment. Maybe. Some of these may just go to work. But like I say, I encourage you to get out. What'd you say? They're actually pretty good. Yeah, they're just freeze dried apples. No, no. You've got to rotate your supplies. You have to know how to use and you have to know what it's going to taste like if you're going to eat it. And there, there are going to be some things that you may not eat. This one here that I absolutely can't tell my daughter about. She will eat that whole can <laughs> as fast as she can. Except that can, I think, is fine. When I wiped it down, it'll do well. Anyway, so no matter what your food storage is, if it's long-term storage, you have to remember to look at it, inspect the containers, make sure it's intact uh, and not rusting. If it is, you need to take care of that. You can wipe it down, uh, clean it, don't sand it down to nothing, but remove the rust the best you can and put a light coat of food grade mineral oil on it and then put them back on the shelf. Uh, freeze dried food, of course, depends on the manufacturer, but it's for 25 plus years. Some of this, the beef was right, getting pretty close to 20 years. Uh, the apples were, were right around 20 years. Uh, so just know your product and take care of it. Let's get ready.